I'm trying to turn things around. Oh, I've hooked into something. Oh, another. Oh, another. Oh, this is a trout. Why? You... Here it is. See you next time. Actually, folks, I'm back because I get the feeling that there is still a chance for a pike. The sun is obstructing my view. So I can't say how deep this is, but there are some lilies and pike-like lilies. Oh, there was, I think, there was a pike. I actually put my... Again, I, I sort of got distracted a bit. There is a perch, but that was a larger fish in fir at first. No, oh, this is a perch. Maybe that was a perch as well. So, while the battery is lasting, I'll go on shooting. Oh man, that's a nice perch. Just, yeah. And another one is swimming nearby. In Australia those are called red fins, although I think orange would be more fitting. That's a pretty nice perch. Now give me a pike. Can I get a pike here? Obviously pike are those fish that if they are on they will take on first cast quite often but again not always but if they are on they all often do that they will seek out the spinner they may attack from afar is that ah those are chap probably chap pretty large chaps at least two so I suspect that first take that I had couldn't hook it could have been a chap because the fish looked long
so a nice spot but couldn't hook into a chub or a pike but there are definitely nice chub in there Something else going on here. A very distinctive bend that appears. It all depends on whether there is depth on the outside of the bend. There is no depth on this side of the stream I mean there is depth but not no considerable depth this is not as good as the spots before actually it's there is no depth at all so I may have to jump further away where there seems to be some life and maybe something more interesting and I may have to switch off the camera just to conserve the battery. Just a few more casts. It's actually not even clear where to cast. The banks are shallow. These grasses look nice, but it's very shallow next to them. Okay, I'll switch off and be right back. See you then. Back and I've reached a pretty nice looking island in between. Since I stopped recording, I made maybe three or four casts. It was a very boring stretch. But this looks pretty nice. It's as if there are two streams, which one to take first. I'll not be able to take both at the same time, obviously. Let's take this one first, because that's where I'm standing right now. Pretty interesting. Hmm. Would it be that nothing was in there? Not even a small trout. At least nothing that would be willing to take. something So small trout are difficult to catch today. Hmm. 
These uh, spots that are good for trout. Everything is very clear. Concentration of current. A lot of oxygen, relatively speaking. By the way, when water temperatures rise, the level of oxygen drops because there is more oxygen in the cold water and that only adds to the problems and that also explains why fish, especially trout, become significantly less active when water temperatures rise too high. There could be something in there, but you expect the fish to just shoot out of there, but nothing comes out. This, this is textbook trout material right here also over there some clouds. I think there might be some rain earlier today but waiting for that is probably not an option. Tasty looking spot, but these are not working today, not working at all. Oh, chab. Maybe three or four followed, and then the largest finally decided why not. So, here it is, chubby, not a, a large one, they grow much, much larger, but for me it's pretty decent, I don't catch chub when spinning often. And now I think this pool is as good as done. Chab are very spooky fish as far as I as far as I know at least. It's 
Sometimes you will see them standing in the current and mm, they will not take. Well, they are still attacking, but... Oh, there are a lot of them, but smaller ones. Oh, there is a large one! This wasn't large. Mm. Another thing with Chub is that it's much better if they cannot see you. These are small chaps and they, they just wait, wait, wait and when they see that the spinner is almost out of the water they think, oh what the heck. But there are more large ones in there, in between those rocks. Maybe even larger than the one I've got. have to let it go probably because I will otherwise I might stay here for two hours and catch nothing <laughs> Okay, so one chub run, full of chubs. Caught just one fish, but that's normal for chub, at least for me. Okay, some. Ah, there will be a bend. Bend to the right of me. And judging by the steepness of the bank, there may be some depth. A small fish of unidentified variety. 